Hello everyone, welcome to the 11th tutorial of Easy Excel, part of easyprogramming.net. Today's tutorial adds on to the last tutorial where I showed you how to combine data in cells. Today's topic is the opposite, where we're going to be splitting the data. It's another easy but also fairly complex feature in Excel, just as and it's just as useful, if not more useful, than combining data because there are a lot more applications with splitting data. Um, for example, here we have a list of names here just as before and uh, but sometimes we need to separate the first names and the last names right John Smith last name so some examples of one we might want to do this is for example if you're using mail merge and you want to address everyone by their first name only or by their last name only so it makes sense to split the columns into two so that when you're doing your mail merge you only have to focus on one column whether it's the first name or the last name uh, with splitting the cells there is no formula per se so we won't be using the equal sign so you can't say equals A1 divided by 2 and you get John Smith and John in one column and Smith in the other. That's not how this works. But it's all still pretty easy. And we won't be using the autofill. So we're just going to be doing everything in one go. So first thing, let's select the data we want to split. I'm going to select from John Smith to Tony Stark. I'll show, I'll explain why I didn't select these later on. And we're going to venture out of the Home tab and go straight into the Data tab here. There are quite a few options in the data tab, but we're going to be focusing on the one that says text to columns. You get a little pop-up, and you have a couple of options. At the bottom here, you have preview of selected data, which has from John Smith all the way to Tony Stark. And on top here, we have two options, delimited and fixed width. Delimited means that we get to choose a character that works as a separator. If you've ever worked with a CSV file, which uses a comma as a separator, but in this case, we can specify a comma, semicolon, space, period, or whatever you want it to be. We're going to work with this option today. Fixed width, on the other hand, counts the number of characters and splits it. It's usually not practical with text with when you're working with names like this because no one has a fixed number of characters in any one name. Uh, but if you're working with, let's say, a database tables where they have the same amount of characters, then you can use this. Or if you're working with social security numbers and you want to specify a split between the first five and the last four digits, this is a good way to do this. So, But we'll stick with delimited for now. So we'll click Next. And we have these delimiters as the option. As you can see, I've already worked on this. By default, tab should be the only one that's selected. Uh, you have semicolon, comma, space, and other means you can specify. So if you have a period, you can use a period. Uh, since we're using space, if I click on this, you'll see that a vertical line appears here separating John and Smith. The little vertical line takes this place of wherever the space is. So John Spaceman, Natasha Space Romanoff, etc. Uh, this option here says treat consecutive delimiters as one. So for example, if there was a John Space 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 Smith, you know, by mistake, it'll count all of those spaces as one. If you uncheck this, it will put all those spaces. It, it will put uh, it'll put as many cells in between as there are spaces. Let's just say that. Well, let's click next. And in this, in the last step here, we have uh, we can customize the destination. Uh, by default, the destination will replace whatever is in this cell. So if I click on finish, it'll actually replace, it'll put John in A1 and Smith in B1. But let's say I want to keep the first data, and I want to put John in B1 and Smith in C1. I'll just select this destination and change it to B1. Whoops, get rid of that. Put it in B1. The next thing we're looking at is a column data format. Uh, here, as you can see, you can, in the data preview section, you can choose between the several columns that you have. They're all marked as general now. You can also mark them as text. It changes to text or date and etc. If you keep it general, what general does is it says it here, converts numeric values to numbers, data values to dates, and all remaining values to text. So it'll it'll combine, it'll just convert everything to text and keep it you know, general. Or you can click on do not import column and skip the data. That means it will not skip, it will skip this data and it will only put Smith into B1. Smith, Romanov, Coleman, Wayne, Parker, etc. into B1 and skip John, Natasha, Eli, Bruce, Peter completely. But we'll keep general for now. Uh, I think that's all there is. And let's click finish. And 
There you go. Voila. That's it. See, it puts Jean in B1, Smith in C1, Natasha in B2, and Romanov in C2, all the way to Tony Stark. See, and if you click at the formula bar, there is no formula. It's just plain text. There is no formula for this, and we didn't autofill. So there's nothing to autofill. So once you have this data, you're stuck with it. And if you want to combine it, you can always look at my combining tutorial and learn how to combine them. It's just as easy. The reason I left these three alone is because we're going to do it one more time. Text to columns will split the data as many times as there is a delimiter. So we have two delimiters here. We have a space here, a space here, a space here, a space here. And in the Los Angeles selection, we have we have two types of spaces. Uh, another reason to um, another example of why you want to split data is, for example, if you have the city and the state in one cell, you want to split them. You know, Los Angeles into city and California into state. Same thing, you know, with cities in New York, New Jersey, anywhere. So if I press next here, space is already connected, and here you can see we have two columns here because there are two delimiters here. Uh, in the Los Angeles section here it copies, it counts the comma as a delimiter, it counts the comma as a character, excuse me, and it keeps it as Angeles. But if you're working with splitting you know, city and state data, we might want to consider clicking on the comma symbol here as well so that it gets rid of the Angeles and it counts it as a delimiter itself. So there's two delimiters here, comma and a space but it treats consecutive delimiters as one, so it'll clown both of them as one. And it'll put the answers into three different columns. It'll be in B, C, and D, rather than just B and C. So let's click Next. We're going to keep this the same. The destination, again, we will change to B12, so that we get to keep all this. And here we have three columns that we can customize. And let's click Finish. And there you go. We have Xena, Warrior Princess, New York City in three different columns. So if you're working with names with people that like to have, you know, a Dr. John Smith Jr., you're gonna you're gonna put them into four different columns. That's something that you need to be aware of. Well, that's all there is to um, splitting columns. Um, text to columns is great. It's right here. It's just one option. It's it looks complex, but it's actually pretty easy. You just have to do it a couple times, and you will get the hang of it. <clears throat> Uh, well, if you have any questions about this, please feel free to ask in the comment section. If you want to see certain types of tutorials, let me know. Thanks for watching. Remember to watch the combining tutorials video. I will be putting uh, the spreadsheet up on my website at easyprogramming.net so you can download it and you can take a look. Although there's no formula here, you can see how it was done. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Remember to like the video and visit easyprogramming.net for my other tutorials.